Game number three, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to game number three. It's LGD China versus Invictus Gaming. We are all tied up at one to one. Game one, IG looked convincing, but game two, LGD looked dominant. IG got outdrafted to some extent, perhaps, but more importantly, definitely outplayed. The lades really worked well for them. The timber saw mid. Uh, completely shutting down the Dragonite. The offlane Nyx did his job. Free farm uh, on the Spectre. And then just really good decision making and execution by IG. Or by LGD in the mid game. I'm LDB on the summit. I am joined here today by Winter. Winter, how you doing? And Winter is AFK. Or muted. Muted, sorry. Yes, there you go. <laughs> so it's going to be a Rubik picked up from the start. As soon as they got the chance, and Prophet is once again being banned out, even though Prophet lost the last game. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, I still think I. I feel like the Prophet would have worked better if their lineup was. A, uh, Luna Wisp is just not does not seem like a very strong combo. Like if they had a stronger pairing for it, like Tiny Wisp or Gyro CK? Wisp, CK Wisp, even. I feel like the. I don't think the Prophet was the problem that game. Yeah, it was the general playstyle and the lineup in, in a whole. It's not exactly the Prophet's fault. And if you look at the first four pickups by the teams right now, Rubik, Nyx, Vino, and Doom, you can see these four heroes repeatedly showing themselves in the first ban phase or the first pick phase among these two teams. Yeah, and I guess it, it does make you wonder, Is there are we going to see any pocket Five picks? Like, we saw the Disruptor pick in Game 1. That did not work at all for LGD China. Ten. Interestingly enough, IG will ban it anyway. LGD's and turn to I'm pick. trying to Ten. figure out why they would ban Disruptor, because I did not think LGD used it very well. Are they? Do they want to go for someone that Disruptor counters? Like, are they thinking about Pistol a Storm Lee. Spirit for 430? Uh, something that really is pick. weak against that Silence? What do you think? I'm Clark. not very sure. I think it's just they don't want LGD to use something that they are very comfortable with. Maybe in scrims that LGD have been having a lot of success with that hero. These okay. are things we wouldn't know. Yeah, because they did not have any... It didn't look... Not only did they not have success in game one, but it just didn't look that impressive. Like, they didn't really use Disruptor that well. It was because what I feel is the combination Shadow Demon and Disruptor together. I... Not I'm a not fan. a very Five big fan of it. Remaining. It's very difficult to get ganks off as those two being a, a support pair. Not Resolve many good time. lockdowns on the target, so I'm not a very good fan of it. For, fan of that. I feel like Disruptor has to be paired with someone that has a reliable stun to be effective. Like a, a well, maybe not a Nyx, but like a Sand Rubik King. Or Sand King, yeah. Yeah. Well, LGD China, what will they go for now? They already picked up the Crystal Maiden, good support to kind of deal with the Chen. Obviously gives them a lot of flexibility. Doom could be their safe lane farmer. We saw them give it to Yao in game one for the off lane. It wasn't very effective. Uh, I mean, did it a decent job, but didn't do enough. Uh, it could be that safe laner for Shatuji. Uh, maybe it goes mid, depending on what IG want to put there. But LGD is still fairly open-ended. And even the Veno could be a farmer or it could be a support. Yeah, it's very, like I said, LGD likes to start off their draft with something that's flexible you cannot tell that oh they pick this hero up he's going to go support or he's going to go off lane for sure it's very difficult to judge you need to see their follow pickup so i feel like the vino doom opening is very it's very a lot of variations that could come with that and ig is going to go for the five man with the gyro yeah nyx is probably going to be their mid hero or off lane hero now yeah and that means rubik chen so they could go for like the early to mid game dual realm combo uh, or they mm -hmm. can just go for the more greedy farming style. Both are pretty strong with this lineup. Chen should be the mech buyer. Gyro will probably go for early BKB. Nyx will be your initiator. And then the main question is, what's that solo mid for 430 going to be? Do they go for like a dual core lineup here? OD is still in the pool. Uh, we haven't seen any OD. He got banned out in the last phase in the previous game. Uh, isn't that great against Doom, but it's a really good secondary damage dealer to have. And 
I feel like even against Doom, even if OD's not great against him, having two damage dealers is generally ideal. Mm, I don't think they'll go for something like the OD because he's uh, not... If you pick OD and Gyro together, it's like you have two position one heroes and both of them would clash in... Like, someone wants to farm here and someone wants to... They need too much farm. Just okay. put it that way. They just need too much farm together. I feel if you, if you pick those two together and... The game doesn't... You don't have a smooth early game and you get gank on either one of the cores. The game will spiral out of control very quickly for you. It's just too greedy to have an OD and a gyro together. Well, it's never stopped speed from going for a Klinks and an OD, but... <laughs> Klinks is... He's pretty greedy. Klinks is a, a bit utility different because he's able to gank early after, after he pick up his orchid. It's different from gyro. Gyro, and, gyro doesn't apply pressure to your team. He's just the carry that farms and comes to team fight, assists and back up. Doesn't really go uh, go like a clink solo killing everyone else. So it's a lot different oh, that way. Geez, True. Dragonite will be the choice from LGD Gaming. So uh, they have uh, like a pretty well-rounded lineup. Not really any great late game. Decent late game lineup. Good initiation. Lots of stuns. Mm -hmm. Good fighting lineup. But nothing too out of the ordinary, really. And that might have been what IG wanted for their solo mid with the Dragonite pick. So Five seconds what will IG five. get for 430? I am not sure whether Nyx will be played in the off lane because I haven't seen IG play, uh, put YYF on the off lane with Nyx. Maybe it's just going to be a Ferrari with Nyx Assassin I, and the last hero will be YYF Zero on the off lane. They can still go for something like a Timbersaw. I don't really like Nyx versus Dragonite though because whenever you go ganking, he just takes your tower and you can't outlane uh -huh. him at all. So Yeah, you can't. I don't think that's a really good matchup. Maybe they just pick Timbersaw. Oh no, okay, LGD bans out the Timbersaw. So what Invoker? other options? Invoker. Invoker is decent. Hmm. I'm not sure. That would, get, that would be a pretty greedy draft though. A lot of very level hungry heroes. And very passive. Solo I'm thinking mid. they need something to own the lane. Something like a Quap. Strong in the lane or a TA. That's able to shut down the DK from the start. Make sure the DK doesn't get... Two of a good start, then he can just take down your towers and group, and you're gonna have a lot of trouble then. So I feel they need a lane. Yeah, they need a lane destroyer. I I feel like TA is not that good against this LGD lineup though. Vino, yeah. yeah Veno alone makes it really un bad. Dragonite's poison breath will remove your refraction, so that's not a very good matchup once he hits level six. Quap is a bit better, but yeah, I kind of like this pick better. Like I didn't feel I feel like those two heroes wouldn't actually win the lane that hard. And they were be very vulnerable like, in the mid game. So this is like this a is really like good a LG, fight. Yeah, LGD style of uh, draft. Gyro and Konka, two one minute cooldown ultimates. Yeah, so they can team fight every time cooldown and boat are available. And like you said, it's every minute. This is a very what, strong combo, actually. What is LGD going to go for here? I have a feeling maybe Bristleback could be a good pickup for them on the off lane. They can run Doom as a safe lane, DK middle, and Bristleback as their prime. They have three very tanky cores. Five. To deal with the AOE and spell IG have. Hmm, yeah, that's a possibility. Yeah, what, Bristleback has just kind of been ignored lately, if you think about it. Teams are not picking it depends, him very much. Depends on which team, though. Like, our TK likes to get Bristleback for himself. So like, some other teams just he, don't want to pick the, Bristleback. He's really the only one right now, I feel Bounty like. Hunter. Bounty Hunter will be the choice. So, they'll look I, to go late game through gold. <laughs> And Devour and track, but I'm not sure if you go like you go bounty hunter. You want to be able to win the fights, but against cooldown and boat, it's it still depends who plays the fight better. If the Doom gets his ultimate on the Kunkka before he drops the boat, that would be greatly helpful for LGD. But at the same time, if you get the Doom on someone else and the boat comes out, your Doom doesn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, that's true. The boat will largely negate and, it. And there's a Chen to send the guy back. Yeah, that was the that was the thing last game was uh, the last time we saw Doom was there was no great defensive supports. It still worked out, but uh, the Doom was a lot more effective early on. So now with the bounty hunter pick, could just be to harass the Chen. I mean, maybe we even mm -hmm. see like the Veno go to the off lane, and Five they just have the bounty hunter follow the Chen around in the jungle. True, they could do that. But if they do that, the Knicks will have a, a, a little bit of a better time in the off lane since there's only two heroes there. If it's three heroes, he can't actually go out on the lane at all against the Vino and the CM. But if the Vino decides to go top and Bounty Hunter, yeah, Bounty Hunter is going to be a pest towards the Chen, but at the same time, IG can 
gain something out of the off lane because of that. Yeah, that's true. So I guess the question is, who gets the better trade? Uh, Chen, not really a great comeback hero. If he has a bad start early, he struggles. Bounty Hunter is a very good comeback hero. And then you're pretty much trading off lanes at that point. So I, I think that would still favor LGD, assuming the other lanes are fairly even. Middle lane, Conquer yeah. versus Dragon Knight. I think that's a very even matchup. Even though you can harass with Tidebringer, it just doesn't matter. Dragon Knight could just bottle crow. It will come down to whoever supports gets the gank on the opposing solos. And yeah. having the Chen, Chen and Rubik, I would favor the Chen and Rubik to get the ganks off would, first. But would you really? C yeah. But CM Venom is you know, very strong. It's also very strong, yeah. You know, the one concern for IG, though, is their supports are not... They don't have much damage early on. Chen doesn't really have damage until he gets a couple levels in Test of Faith, and Rubik has no damage, so they it relies on the Kunkka getting a good setup. Uh, you could say the same for CM and Vino. They're just all slow. CM does a ton of damage. What are you talking about? Yeah, but about? she needs she needs she needs like uh level two first. Like if level one they smoke up and gank. IG's heroes are also very good at level one smoke gang. They need to get a gang very early. That's so true. it depends on who gets the gang first. And if you are talking about level one gang, CM and Vino level one doesn't do too much too. It's oh, just boy. a double slow. Yeah, a little more damage. But here comes LGD. They smoke up Yao in the front lines. And they might get oh, this no. first blood. He has boots. He has boots. Yeah, but oh, he's, boots. he's invis here. Can they get the initiation, though? They need a Gale to connect. It will. Yao's been caught out. This could easily... It will be our first blood. Yao will give it up. And it goes to the bounty hunter. That's the second time in three games that LGD have gone for a level one five-man smoke into the enemy jungle. And this time... IG almost gave up that kill in game one, and they do give it up here in game three. Yeah, it all came down because of the bounty hunter able to scout out the map, and it seems like he went for boots. It will probably be a Vino on the offlane, maybe? He's gonna just be constantly tracking down the Chen, and Vino is gonna be the offlane hero, like you said. Yeah, so LGD, this is something we saw a lot of after 6.79 initially came out, the and begins. the hard part for Chen is he can't do anything to bounty hunter by himself. So whether the bounty wants to block camps or let him get the camps and then steal the steal the creeps, he really needs the help of the other support, but then the support's not pulling. So yeah, this is pretty much what I was going to say. It's just like the best thing yeah. you could do is either farm, either you farm this big camp where your support can be near you or you just go to the enemy jungle. Mm. But the bounty hunter may just follow him anyway. No, he'll stay top. Yeah, they're actually rotating the two supports back away. I thought they would have left the Vino, like you mentioned, top, and the, the, the CM could do jungling. So, with this dual lane, they're just, I don't think they're ever going to kill the bounty. Well, actually, Boots first on the gyro. Why? Yeah. This is very unusual. Were they expecting it's like, like a 1v1? It started by speed gaming. They, they get Boots on their carries, like the Luna, the gyro, because you with the Boots, you can zone the off lane out pretty effectively. Yeah, it's going to be hard to zone a bounty hunter who got first blood out of the lane, though. <laughs> that's, that's not going to be easy. Yeah, but they can potentially deal a lot of damage to him. It, you can just run up with the boots and rocket barrage, and every time he tries to take, take a creep, you can deal a lot of damage to him, and it will open up a lot of possibilities for the Rubik to try and get a kill when the bounty hunter is always like around half HP. They, they, you know, they really need to stop him from getting these phase boots. If he gets phase boots... IG are going to have a very hard time killing him, even the Rubik, with Rubik, especially, yeah. especially the Rubik. And the Chen rotates in. He's going to walk uh, into the lane, into the jungle, and we'll see Yao retreat out. But IG, just three heroes parked top, and not really doing anything with those three heroes. Just sitting around. Yeah, Yao is going to rotate out because two minutes is coming. He wants to scout for the rune, so it's a very good timing for him to be, to be out of the lane and... The supports are not going to be able to get him there. And Faith is going to take a lot of damage here. He does have a dust available, but there's nobody backing him up. If there's a big rune here... Oh, if there was something like a double damage rune, that could have easily been our first blood. Yeah, or even a haste. Yeah. Yeah, haste would have been really good there as well. But not the case, so... The two offlanes trading evenly, both heroes level 2.5. In fact, almost exactly even. I think the one thing I would say is... Wow. They just, spoke to, they just spoke directly on top of it. <laughs> I was moving my camera away right as they hit the smoke. But, uh, yeah, which I think this still favors LGD a lot. Because, sure, like, the offlanes are even. But the difference is their supports are getting a lot of levels. And they're farming a lot. DDC is already level 3.5. 
Uh, whereas you look at the supports of IG, level 1 Rubik, Sorry. level 2 Chen. Oh no, he's gonna go down there. Oops. Trophy. You gotta let me know, man. I was not, I was not ready for that. I, I said Ferrari. I thought, oh, okay, I should say me though. <laughs> no, I should, I should have been paying attention. My, that's my first like bad miss kill of the day. So I get one before the chat really goes nuts. Yeah, you were talking about the getting even on the off lane and and middle lane as well, but I would disagree to that because having the CM and DDC actually went for two points in Aura at level 3. It's so helpful for the Dragonite. I'm not even going to kid about it. It's so so much more mana. You can spam at least one extra Flame Breath all, every wave. That's going to make a huge difference against a lane like a DK Konka lane. Yeah, no, I mean, the off laner, the off -laner is traded evenly. The difference is the supports for IG get, are getting nothing, and LGs are getting a lot. So I'd say the off laners are even, but the supports are not. Yeah, and not to mention the smoke gang that got dispelled there by the bounty hunter was so, so crucial. And now they try to walk in mid, but that is not going to work. So the early game has to go to the CM and Vino doing a lot more than the Rubik and the Chen. So they're going to be having a much better time. Yao is going to finish his... He already has they go his in middle lane, so they drop the torrent, the boat as well. Now the impale coming through, they really want Xiao Wei. Party in the middle lane, four heroes to arrive and they will get the kill on the Dragonite, but... Is it even worth it at that point? That's such a... They spent like two minutes to get that kill and sent four heroes mid as well. Oh, Invis rune at top. And it's going to go to Yao. Faith does have the dust. Does he bother to pop it? No, nope, just going to run. He doesn't have his leaf off cooldown yet, so he couldn't do anything. I mean, even if he did though, the Chen was already running the other way, so it was just like a bad timing. Yeah, if you look at the other lanes and Doom free farm versus Gyro free farm, I would say the, the Doom's timing to become strong will be much quicker than the Gyro, and it also depends on how does Rabbit build into his Doom. Does he go for no, uh, Shadow is. Blade? I, I think getting the Shadow Blade, this, this game would be very crucial for the Doom, so he can constantly pick off the, the Gyro when he doesn't have support near him. Yeah, and I mean, if you look at LGD, I guess their only other initiation is Dragon Tail, but... He's not really, that's not really, that's like decent ganking ability, but I mean, at least having one of those two with the Shadow Blade would be best, and Xiao Wei's just not farming all that well. 22 CS, which is good, but not keeping up with the Doom, so Doom is the more likely candidate to build that Shadow Blade. Yeah, they could poss possibly build two Shadow Blades really quickly, but I guess Xiao Wei would just go for the safety BKB first against so many Disables. Or even and top lane first, we've seen some Dragonites doing that as well. Yeah. Top lane, they're gonna wrap around Yao. They have a dust here, and they, I guess they saw Yao shadow walk. I think they saw. He kind of knows though. He's gonna run to the north. He immediately pops the face boots, removes the dust, but he'll still go down. He almost could have killed Hal there, but didn't quite have the damage. They're gonna be able to take down. You want middle lane? Here, so. They've got on 430, and so it will be a, a one for one in the end. Sorry to cut you off. Nice, nah, okay. And now we're gonna pressure a lot of the tower here as well, the middle tier one. Doom on YYF. He's going to survive, I think. Yeah, he's not going to die. See, I missed that one kill earlier, so I could get all three of these in a row, like a boss. Like a boss. That wasn't a kill. They, waste, it was, they it wasted was a their doom. 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 Yeah. Can they keep on pushing mid, though, is the question. I think they're going to get this tower. Yeah, this looks dead. This is a big pickup. Do they lose anyone here? The Venno's in trouble. Tower drops, it falls to the Venno. Now 430, taking Dragon Tail, taking decent damage, but the boat, the Torrent come through. That's too much damage. Dragons are no match for pirate ships. Pirate ships and nuclear bombs. Yeah, nuclear bombs and pirate ships. A little bit stronger than dragons, I would say. Mainly the nuclear yeah. bombs. That's the first time the cooldown and boat comes to effect in this game, and they want they killed the DK. But did they get the last hit on the tower? Yeah, they didn't manage to deny the tower, so I would say it wasn't a huge loss for LGD. Still, losing the call is not very good, but they got the tower off and. Enemy didn't manage to deny, so it was still alright for them. Still a good trade. Yeah, pretty good trade. The tower, I think mainly the tower going down is the big deal here. And IG rotate three, four heroes bottom. YWF has just hit level six, and he might go for a vendetta initiation. Xiao Tuji hanging out, retreating, and he has gone drum, so no early Shadow Blade. Could still go for one after drums, and if mm -hmm. you go phase boots, I, th I think you really need the drums. We saw yesterday Mushi really had mana problems with. Just phase boots, mech, and, and no drums. He, she, but he had bottle, so it was yeah. still okay. And this game, LGD has the CM aura, so I would say, even though he doesn't have a bottle and drums, he would still uh -oh. be alright, but... IYF, he's been spotted out here by Radiant Observer and Sentry. 
They know the Nyx is prowling in the neighborhood, but they're not going to go on him yet. They are trying to push and Chen is at top. Yeah, this is awkward. And Chao Wait's pushing much more effectively right now. He's actually doing damage. They're going to rotate Xiao Eight towards bottom. They saw the Chen at... I think they knew... Did they saw someone TP with the ward here? I think maybe they saw the Gyro TP out. That's why they rotated the Dragonite right away towards bottom. And they're going to have five men here. And Chen is not going to be able to get there on time. Even if he gets he's, there... The he's already running there. bottom. He's coming straight back to bottom. But it's too late. Yeah. No, actually, there is Torrent Boat. This could be bad for LGD. I don't know if they can go, though. The Gyro's not here yet. Yeah, Gyro is going to take too much time to come down here. They can catch and a Chen straggler, though. In there. They can catch someone retreating if they get an X-Torrent off. Level 2 X, not the best range. Oh, he's just out of range. Oh, the courier actually spotted out 430 there. So LGD, like you said, just as the second they saw the Gyro TP, it was already too late, and he immediately ran back bottom. So that's a really big blunder from Hal. Just... Well, not blunder, but unfortunate for how I should say. Like, mm. a lot of wasted time, gets nothing, and decision. fails to defend the tower. Yeah, it could be a team decision that they wanted to get someone to... Because they yeah. didn't want the Chen to stay at top lane. But the Chen had to go there because no one was defending the lane. Yeah, not not a blunder, but just more really really bad for the Gyro. Really bad for the Gyro. And they're going to try and get a Vendetta gang off here. I don't think they can pick off any heroes here. Maybe the Vino, but... YLF is only level 6. This is He's very gonna try. risky. There's no track yet, though. Bounty Hunter only level 5. Oh no, he has to back off. I'm not gonna go for it. It's too close to the tier 1 as well. That's a very risky yeah. gank. And if you look at the last hit charge, last hit charge, Konka is actually doing very badly for 9 minutes in. His net worth and stuff like that. He's very poor. Yeah, and he hasn't been really been successful on these rotations. 1-0 and 0, zero but... It doesn't feel like last game, where Xiao Wei just was constantly setting up kills. Here comes another rotation. They will go on DDC mid. He's hiding in the trees. He has auto attack on, it looks like, and gets the right click off on 430. Now tries to run, but the call down comes through, quickly dropping him low. Hasn't killed him off yet, though. Still standing strong. Finally, the Crystal Maiden dies. Tankiest CM ever, but will go down in the end. And now they That's might not. get more. Boat, X, bring him back in. Xiao Wei tries to run north. He knows the boat is coming, but he can't get out. Now they go on Faith, and on the back lines comes the Doom. He doesn't Doom the Chen. The Chen gets off his ultimate. They kill off the Rubik, but was it really worth it? Now the Doom getting Carapist on. They still go farther. They want Now they Doom the Chen after the Hand of God, and I think they'll end up getting him. So in the end, it will be a three for one, even though it was a rather track. sloppy fight. Track. They need the track. And they get it. Shuriken? It's going to try deny. Not gonna happen. So that was one track kill for four heroes and two regular kills. And they defend their tower. And ma a maiden buyback. So I think it was still okay. The maiden buyback was quite insignificant, but it was very helpful for them. Yeah, if you can get your carry some track hold or just kill anyone, it's, that's definitely worth it. And the worst part is Chen dying there. He was getting close to mech. 500 gold. I, he must have had like 700 or 800 before he died. Really yeah, that was, that's really, really bad for him, man. Doom is actually going to build into a backing bar, not a Shadow Blade. LGD just loves their BKBs. This is not the first time. And this Doom's going to be super tanky, Winter, because he's got the best ability for the tank Doom in the game. Ice armor. Yes. Thanks to Speed Gaming. But he doesn't have a Lich on his side, so not going to be quite as scary. He's going to be really fast with the track and Scorch up, so he doesn't need too much armor. <laughs> he, needs, he needs the speed creep, I feel. Oh, well, they go right. now, and Pell's going to gonna catch up too. No hesitation from YYF. Now a boat, double kill coming out. It's going to be three in a matter of seconds. DD next in line. He'll take a spill. Triple going to Howe, and it will be four. IG, nope, they actually whiff on the Impale. Now Shoutuji comes in. With the impaled hit, that would have been four, but now they might lose Howe on the way out. He's dropping low. The Scorched Earth, will it be enough to bring him down? Yes, it will. And that's a big kill. He just got a triple. Now the Doom. Oh, that missed impale. It was so good for IG. But in the end, it turns out to be a three for two. No track kills in that fight, though. Yeah, the Vino ultimate, it was actually quite deceiving the way the fight started. The Nyx impaled two heroes and they killed two heroes, and the Vino was standing on the low ground. He dropped his gear, dropped his ultimate. The fight started out with three heroes down from LGD, but the Vino bought out, and the fight is actually going to, after the Vino bought out, the fight would actually turn really well for LGD because everyone was taking so much damage from the Vino ultimate. 
Yeah, that's the buy. They have used two buyouts, and that they didn't get track all that time yet. Look at the gold graph; it's still going up. Thirty-five hundred gold lead, thousand experience lead, and in terms of towers, they have two to one, so they have a one tower advantage. So LGD, it's not just the tower advantage; they're just doing better in general. And yeah, I guess some of that's devour gold as well. This level four devour. Yeah, the BKB is not going to come up anytime soon for the Dragonite though. That's my major concern for LGD right now. They're going to have a, yes, they're going to have a BKB on Doom, but DK is going to be picked off time and time again if he doesn't have a BKB and he, if he is forced to fight. Because DK is always the hero that you want to be at the fight. You don't want to be farming and your team is fighting. That's just not how you play Dragonite. So not having the BKB would hurt him very, very badly against the Concar boat and the Cooldown. And they're not really doing a whole lot to get Xiao 8 farm this game. I mean, they haven't been stacking Ancients much, or if I haven't even seen them stack them at all. He's not really close to his level 2 ultimate. I mean, after they get the BKB with the Doom, I guess the real question is, what do they do next? Because it feels like IG should be able to out-farm them if it comes to a farm war. I mean, the Doom obviously can keep up, but Dragonite's not really keeping up. The Venos actually fairly mm. poor. I wouldn't say IG would outfarm LGD. I would say that IG is just going to five man and push, and LGD cannot fight. Radiance bottom tower. Even with the BKB, you don't think they can fight? No, I mean now when they before they have the BKB. Now is the time where IG is going to make a lead from the advantage they have. Well, they, the they already have the Doom BKB, so he can just be the frontline tank. Yeah, but at the same time, I just feel like having the Chen there. Even if you if you don't Doom the Chen, your Doom is most likely going to be. Not very useful because he just sends back the guy you do. Hmm. Yeah, he he used it really late the last fight after the Chen dropped Hand of God, but I don't think that should happen. Like if he he should yeah. be able to catch Chen, especially with Bounty Hunter to scout, you should be able to catch him. They're gonna smoke up right now, Mister David. So they're gonna look for a crucial crucial opening here to try and get an advantageous fight. Xiao Eight is gonna be the only hero that shows his face in bottom. And what a what a pretty face it no? is. Is it safe to say the director is never always alone? <laughs> never always alone? <laughs> yeah, he always has a bodyguard with him. Or the whole team with him. I don't even know what to make of that statement. <laughs> Ritter, repeat that to yourself. <laughs> Think about what you just said. Here they go. They have a boat available. X already level 3. They've only got the level 2 Tidebrainer, so a bit lacking on damage for this trade. Gyro has picked up his BKB. Very big item to secure oh, here. Now Banana comes in. The Gale comes through, and right as the climactic team fight breaks out, Faith pauses. The Dragonite gets the tower, like you said, not denied. And Chen Mala, is caught up. I say it's lagging. So when Chen you gets see killed. When you see Kala, it's lagging. Okay. <laughs> Well, what's going to happen here? They've Galed Banana. Doom's very far away, though. These really, they're not really in position to kill the Chen quickly. I, I don't think they can kill the Chen, though. They would take a long time because he has Mech, he has Hand of God, and Ferrari has a boat to throw out there. He needs to use the spells. He's not using any. Maybe he's planning to buy back. Oh. Pops nothing. Was he just what? lagging? Boat! Torrent catches three! Three heroes! Oh my goodness. And now... LGD, after just getting completely sideswiped by that, are in a whole lot of trouble. Face should go down, but now a two for two. Looks like it is actually turning around decently. Xiao Wei gets in stun. Carapist as well, dropping low, but the CMO, the CMO, zones them all out. Beautiful bounces. Three heroes bite the dust off of that triple kill for the Doom. Four heroes in total fall, and LGD take a big team fight victory there. Huge CM ultimate, huge Kunkka boat. Quite a weird fight, though. Chen never got off mech, never got off Hand of God. Just stood there and then died. He was baiting out. I guess he was trying to bait out too long, and he he wanted to use it at the last and last moment to make sure that LGD commit fully to try and kill him. It was just it was just like he tried to do too much, but he didn't get his mech off, and I would say that would have bought his team another five seconds at least to try and hit on the enemy heroes that were going on him. But regardless that... Regardless of that, LGD actually had the bounty under die from the start, so all the kills that happened wasn't tracked apart from the Chen. Yeah, they still got the tower though as well, and that, I guess that's the other concern for IG, is they just keep on giving up tower kills. They're now down 6k gold, 3k experience, and Devour is starting to add up here a bit. 
Man, that looks so lane. good for IG though. Th top lane. Three heroes getting caught by the boat torrent. Yeah, that was very good, but the Chen just didn't do anything. I, I feel that hurt them the most. Yeah, they didn't even need to doom him that fight. Great, you're not going to use your mech or your, your hand of God. We can't, We don't have to use doom on you then, buddy. And doom is off cooldown now. 2200 gold up on Rabbit. He'll take the tower. And now they run. IG wants to engage, but they really can't go in here. Track, and now a wraparound from Xiaowei. You mentioned the BKB isn't coming anytime soon. After that fight, it is coming soon. Now they go into YYF. He drops low. He's going to drop quite low, but the mech keeps him alive. The Hand of God's still available. They've doomed the gyro after BKB. Oh, he stole the, doom. the doom got stolen. It gets dropped on the doom. Doom is running for his life. Now Xiao Eight isolated. Still alive though. Shout Rabbit is very tanky here. Xiao Eight pretty low, but not dead yet. Trying to kill off 430. Doom comes back in. Wants to bring him down. Will do so. Hand of God was popped earlier. Now Faith next in line. They bought back on the Knicks. It ain't gonna matter. Banana next in line. That was a tasty banana. Down he goes. <laughs> Four heroes dead with a buyback for the Knicks that did nothing. Sorry, actually make it five. The Gyro? Did he just chase the Venno that whole way? Yeah, he did. He died like here. I definitely <laughs> lost track of him when I was watching all the fight top. And he died to the poison. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that was five dead with a buyback that did nothing. That's not. And they lost the tower. Did they even get the tower deny? I don't think so. No, don't think so. Winter, LGD China, looking pretty good here, my friend. Up by 12k gold, 7k experience. I don't know. IG is just, their fights, are, the fights are just not being executed very well, it feels. Fate did still Doom, but I don't know. Do, Doom had already done his job, right? Because he already used Doom. Used the mech. He, used the mech, so. he has his BKB, BKB on, so he wasn't taking damage. And he already cast his ultimate and Scorch Earth, which means that the silence that the Doom has on the Doom didn't actually do much. Well, you still take damage from the Doom, because it's universal damage. But you oh, don't take oh, yeah. damage from all the other spells. Yeah, and there are a lot of other use... spells. Yeah, he, he doesn't take damage from anything else, so he wasn't like he wasn't afraid at all. You, you saw in the last fight, even he was Doom, he was trying to still come in and right-click, because there was nothing else that IG could do to kill him. Yeah, that <laughs> was pretty funny, actually. It's like, normally you Doom somebody, they run. And he like he's like, oh shit, I should run? And he's like, wait, I don't actually have to run. I can just fight. And now they've got a BKB on the Dragonite, so now it's really hard for IG to engage. Bottom tower is under and they're going to start getting tracks out here, I believe. The tower dropping quickly, DDC strutting up in the front lines. Now oh, they no, go in, the track field. allow Xiaowei to get in range, and now BKBs get popped. Left, right, and center, 430's on the run, and Doom is just going ham. Diving 430, will he pop a Doom on anybody? Radiance no, he chooses not to. They did steal the Plague Wards here, they got the tier 1 bottom, but... That was a track kill on 4 or 5, so... Not ideal. If they lose one more fight, the game is over for IG. They need to take one fight and just be able to win the fight. Otherwise, they will just fall too far behind. There's only one chance left for IG. And I guess it's just... How do they kill these tanks is the question, Winter. Like, sure, they may, you know, they have one more chance, right? But how do they... I feel like they have to get pickoffs. I just do not see them killing... Doom is Shiva, still has Frost Armor, which you can give to the Dragon Knight. Both of their tanks are probably sitting at like 30 plus armor with the Frost Armor activated. And there is a Shiva's up as well, by the way. So how do you kill these guys? Even with perfect chain stun, I don't know if they can do it. They have to be hoping that they catch out someone before they activate their BKB with the Impale or Leaf, whatever, and drop everything on him and pray that the guy dies before he does anything. Winter, by the way, if we see a Doom in the next fight, I want to hear the you are Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. Just because I love it. The chat really wants it. I don't know if that, I don't know if that motivates you or not. If it, if, it, if it comes to you in the fight, just saying. <laughs> I have to summon the inner Doom. Yes. LGD. I mean, from here, it seems like it should just be systematic. Keep on farming. Get your next core items out. They've got a Vlad's up on the Bounty Hunter. They'll be going triple BKB, and IG have really no answers for these BKBs. I mean, later on they've got the physical damage, but for now, all they can do is just hope for the BKBs to wear out. It's gonna the, be tough. They need, they need also another item on the gyro to deal enough damage, because like the problem they have right now is Kanka doesn't deal damage, because he's too poor. 
and he's too far behind. He's just basically, he dropped his boat, he dropped his torrent, that's it. His tight bringer doesn't actually hurt as much as a 22-minute 20, Kanka would do. Yeah, there's, the no, there's no Shadow Blade, there's no Daedalus, there's just no big items. And, I mean, what makes matters worse is I feel like the Gyro needs actually two items, because he's up against the Frost Armor, he's up against the Shiva's Guard, he's up against a tanky, naturally tanky hero in the Dragon Knight, and they do have a mech on the Venom, so it's like a mass armor lineup for a physical Lats damage well. killer. And the, the Vlads. aura, everything, well. So Doom is sitting at 26 armor right now. With the mech popped, he'll get a couple extra armor. Two more. Yeah, two more, so that's 28. And then the uh, you throw the Vlads, that's another five. So he'll be at 33, the Dragonite at 19 now. How much does he get for Frost Armor? Nine? Eight. Frost Armor gives you eight. So eight, and then he'll be at... 27 plus the the additional seven so dragonite will be even more armor than the doom it looks like so they're both going to be like over 30 armor that's a lot of damage reduction yeah a lot of damage reduction and that they can still even build the assault on the doom right after and that's going to be like at least 40 armor in all, all those two years yeah that's that's where like you have to just pray for a, a rapier on your kunkka and hope you get a good rapier cleave because that will ignore the armor unlike everything else yeah, they need. They, they just basically need to do a lot of right click damage. But at the moment, the problem they have is they can't take fights. After you draft a Konka and a Gyro, and you can't take fights, it's very bad for you because these two heroes are very good at fighting, and you can't take fights. You can't take advantage of the of the two strongest spells your team have and the one minute cooldown. Yeah, it's like having a profit and not being able to split push. You know, it's like the point of the hero basically. <laughs> At this stage of the game, so they're really. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if you remember me saying this. Like I said something like this once before to you. It's like having a steak in front of you, but you don't have a steak knife to eat it. Well, there's an easy solution for that, and that's just to eat it like a savage. Winter. I can't. I can't. <laughs> the meat is too tough for me. No, you don't. You don't even. You just bite into it. <laughs> just rip it apart, like a junkyard dog. That's that's what I would do anyway. If it's you, a good if it's to, a good steak, you can just you can just eat it with your hands. You have to show me sometime soon. Yeah. We Americans have no shame. We'll do that. YYF is gonna find a crystal made in here, but the impale is off the mark. DDC. I don't need even if that hit, I don't know. He's still at the four staff. Might have lived anyway. Yeah, this is the last piece of the puzzle before they go high ground. They have everything and Doom is gonna build into the assault curious. He's actually quite near to it. I mean, what do you even... I guess after this you get the heart, and then you're just invulnerable. You literally <laughs> would not take damage at that point. Good luck oh, killing this Doom. And Chen actually has Frost Armor of his own. He just sent the Ogre back after the Maiden tried to kill the Ogre with Frost Fight. <laughs> yeah... That sounds nice. Of, but LG have a lot of armor. nuke damage is the problem, and there's only one BKB on IG. They can just like stand up and just hit the tower. They don't really have to fear anything now. They have they are just too tank for IG to burst them now. They're gonna go with a missile into an X, but good luck killing this doom. He is taking good nuke damage though. He might be forced to BKB. Needs to save it for after they just know he says screw it, I'm going in now. YOLO, diving deep. So we'll get the kill on the tower, but he immediately buys back. When he comes back, this Doom will not have Aegis, will not have Doom. Impale connects on four. What an impale from YYF. They're turning it around. LGD might be throwing away their colossal advantage. They've lost three. They lost the Aegis as well, but Doom does come back for another round of aggression. The Nyx has bought back two. Missile coming in. The Impale's available. The Mana Burn's available. They really want this kill. I don't know if they can afford to dive him. That was like the best fight IG could have possibly had. It was three dead for two kills and an Aegis and one buyback on Nyx Assassin. It was it was actually really really good for IG. Yeah, that was a, a YYF is definitely the MVP. He hit four yeah. heroes with that impale. Four hero impale is the 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 offlane Nyx. So far, because but they have not lost. He, he got it because like like you said, <laughs> LGD could have backed off, but they chose to fight. But they after they killed the gyro, they still wanted to fight, and the BKBs wore off and. YYF was able to land that magnificent impel. Do you think the Doom should have used his BKB there? I feel like he should have just waited until he respawned and then had it ready. 
Yeah, he could have waited, but probably they wanted to fight, and he didn't actually die because of the mech and the scorch earth. He was having so much regen. He wanted to go in and fight. If he wanted to go in and fight, he definitely have to pop his BKB. Yeah, that is certainly true. And he does have, despite it not being a great fight for LGD, I mean, they still got a lot of gold out of that. So they now lead by 20k. Track. Yeah, track gold, as well as Doom not dying, and he's almost got AC. So it wasn't really a it... bad fight for LGD. It was more like it was the best fight IG could have had at that point. He... Wait, he didn't buy AC, he bought a Reaver. What? Hyperstone is Hyperstone is not very... I don't know, it's not like a great casual item to pick up. It's not like a plate meal. Yeah. I mean, the attack speed's alright, but... I don't know. I'm not I'm not sold, Winter. Little indecision from Xiaotuji, I think, here. Oh, I know why. I know why. Someone else is building the assault. Look at Xiaoyit. Oh, is he building it? Yeah, he is. So I, I'm guessing they had a miscommunication, and Xiaoyi didn't realize that Rabbit was building it. Oh, they're the still, they're still in a huge advantage, so I, I think they're very good position for them to end, end the game right now with the assault. He finished it already, I think. Yeah, he actually, yeah. He actually finished the assault. You know, uh, and Shatuji can always build a Mjolnir, which is actually really good late game, so... It got buffed yeah, a true. lot. We'll have to wait and see. He'll be in the front lines here. The Dragon Knight, as well as the Doom, grouped up together. They start with a lift, now into an X. A they already used their 4-step. Little premature. Now Shatuji caught. He gets impaled. He doesn't want to waste his BKB yet. He's not even dropping that fast, though. He's gone for the Speed R now. He doesn't have the armor from the... The, uh, frost, they the have frost too, armor. They have armor. too much armor, he thinks. Too much armor already. He's trying to make it fair for IG. And actually, the Dragon Knight has already completed the AC. Didn't just have the plate mill, had the entire thing. Now, and another X comes out. Man, this Dragon Knight has really caught up nicely. Now, the call down. They want to focus Shao He is not going to BKB. He's going to mount. Now, the Doom comes in, drops the Shivas, dooms the Gyro. But they've already lost their Dragon Knight. Now, they need to turn tail and run. LGD are just oh. underestimating the damage output of IG. Another successful base defense. That's very, two in a very row. impressive. You know, it kind of reminds me of that LGD International versus IG game from G League last year, where LGD had the big lead, kept on trying to break the base, never could break it, and then eventually they ended up losing. Will this be the same kind of event, uh, turnaround for IG this game? I foresee the turnaround coming with a divine on the gyro. If that's going to happen, that's like the only way they can. I still think the ice armor is actually better than the speed speed aura. Like seriously. How is the speed aura gonna help you when you're just sieging the base? That's what I don't really get. Like if you're ganking or split pushing, fine. I think it's good there, but it doesn't really help I've... you in a frontal assault at all. He wants the five two two from the face boot, scorch earth, speed aura and the track. Everybody's moving very you fast. You know, Winter, the five two two might turn out to be the three two two though. <laughs> they go on Yao middle lane, they gale him, he's gonna TP out immediately, the torrent comes through. Will not connect on anyone significant. Oh, 522! 522! 522! Oh no, 430 caught out of the lift coming through. 430 tracked up, not dead yet, but dropping low, a barrage of nukes thrown his way. There was one uphill miss there, not gonna matter. A rabbit takes a big bite out of the pirate. 522 got them the kill. Indeed it did. There it's really not, good. Not gonna argue, 522 got them the kill. 522 indeed. It's it's three two two's big brother. <laughs> New and improved. They go in now. They're gonna try to initiate here, but BKB gets popped. Xiao Eight says hello. I'm a big bad dragon. Gets the kill. Now they drop the Doom in the jar, and they can just muscle down the racks and then run away if they like. With all their BKBs down, with Doom down, that's probably what we'll see. LGD China after dropping game one are just rolling through IG in game number two. Here comes the Shivas. Here comes the party. Parade onto IG's base. Now they're just taunting them. Farming them at their tier fours. Killing them off there. They even stole a Doom. They drop it on the Doom. But he takes no damage. Doom gives no hoots. And IG will get thwomped yet again. They started this series 1-0. Now they are one game away from elimination. That was just a very, very good team effort by LGD. I would say like... They fought the combats really well, and even going up against a call down and a boat, they managed to took up, take out fight after fight against IG. Like the main main thing I feel is like because the Konka had such a such a bad start, that was like the point where the Konka couldn't do much apart from his boat and torrent. That was really really bad because he didn't contribute much in the fights. And Konka is a hero that's supposed to contribute a lot in the fights, but 
he just couldn't do anything apart from dropping his boat and they relied on only the sole damage from the gyrocopter which didn't cut it yeah that's a great way to put it and yeah, i mean i think you were even being generous to 430 because he ended this game one and eight so uh, not contributing much is maybe putting it mildly he basically just didn't do anything this game I and mean, he had the one good boat bottom but that was it felt like that was it just really yeah, got and shut the, down. And the boat on the Chen, where they were, when the Chen was getting focused down by the Maiden, uh, not the Maiden, the Vino and the Bounty, and the Chen didn't pop his mech. That fight, he had, she, she actually did a good torrent and boat, but they still lost the fight. <laughs> because, because of the Chen not getting his spells off, yeah. Yeah. So that was just really unfortunate for them. A lot of unfortunate events that happened in the game. A series of unfortunate events leads to an IG defeat now. They must win two in a row, else they shall be eliminated. DK is waiting in the grand finals. The loser of this match immediately plays a best of five, which is scheduled to start in a little under three hours against Vici Gaming, not using their full roster, though. I'm LD. He's Winter Guy. Stick around. We'll be right back with game number four.